guys welcome back to my channel um just here really to bring you a very quick um video because i have recently um purchased one of these envelope punch boards it's from um we are memory keepers it's um yeah just called an envelope punch board um really pleased with it i had wanted one for a really long time kind of put off buying it because it seemed like quite a boring <laughs> A boring thing to buy it wasn't nice and pretty and fun like paper or stamps um and it was quite expensive i think it was about 17 pounds from amazon so obviously kind of you know i wasn't quite sure whether or not i would really you know like it or use it or be able to get on with it um but i am really pleased with it so i wanted to kind of come along and share it with you guys really uh, for you know partly if you are thinking of buying one then um, yeah I would kind of I would recommend one so I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a kind of overview really so obviously um, you've got here a punch out bit to make your little notches where the envelope would fold and you've got a rounder the other side to kind of round the edges of the envelope you can make um, obviously square envelopes like this or you can make the kind of longer you know more rectangular envelopes like this so um really yeah really pleased with it it comes with a uh, a you know bone scorer um which tucks really neatly in the side because when i first got it i thought oh my gosh that's something i will lose straight away but actually it tucks really neatly into the side so hopefully you won't lose it it's got little feet um yeah really kind of quite a neat little nifty gadget so i'll show you kind of how to use it down here you've got the paper sizes that you're going to use and the card sizes that they would fit now my only quibble with this or kind of you know complain with this this is very small the print is very very small because um if you can see i'm going to bring it right up to the camera it's got literally fractions kind of like you know 10 and 2 eighths or you know whatever so although you can see the large number very clearly the fraction is pretty tiny and you know when the lighting's not great or you know if you can't kind of look very closely i actually don't think it's particularly clear to actually see what the fraction is so you know point in case is um i have brought along for my kind of demonstration today i bought a couple of pieces of eight by eight paper just to kind of demonstrate <clears throat> so you obviously locate your paper size down in this middle column so the eight by eight is here so if i kind of underline that there for you to see and the envelope that we will kind of be able to make with that is fitting a three and a half inch by six inch card by the looks of things. And here I am struggling already to see what fraction you need to put that at. Now I think that says three and one eighths. So I'm going to place it down and you just put it in here. Now the three and one eighths is this first line here. So I'm going to pop it there. And then what I'm going to do is score down and then punch. And then what you do is where your score line is, you put your score line running along here. So it lines up perfectly with this pokey out bit and then you punch your next notch so because we're making a rectangular envelope so this side obviously again this is my kind of narrow side so I'm going to pop that again at the three and one eighth line I'm going to punch it and then again with my bone scorer just score it down there and then again, what you do is obviously then, and now I've lost track of where I was, pop your um, score line down so as it's running in line with that. And then you literally obviously run your scorer there 
and we didn't actually do this one so I should just run it down there I got waylaid obviously talking and then um, forgot which which part I was actually up to so what you've got then is a kind of square whoops got to um, punch that notch out so I will just go in here right <laughs> of a scatty um, demonstration here I know but it's because I was kind of talking and then obviously put the paper up to the camera and things so then I obviously lost track of which part I had done and which part I hadn't so now you've got a kind of envelope so you've got your scored lines and obviously they fold in like that and then fold up like that and your flap comes down like that now what you then can do is obviously round with the rear side of this, your flaps. So we'll do that one and that one. Now, you don't obviously need to do these ones because they're going to be covered up underneath the flap, like that. And then obviously what you can do is glue your envelope down. So I'm just going to run some wet glue <coughs> along here and I will just run it down here as well and then here and again I will run it there as well and then obviously fold it up and stick it down so I think awesome I think really cool nifty tool um, and then of course we can decorate that so I'm going to pop it to one side for a moment um, just while I demonstrate the kind of six by six square um, envelope and then we will come back and obviously um, we'll decorate that so you know hopefully that will kind of be be fun so I've got these six by six papers. I've got this gorgeous flowery one actually. So I'm just going to cut, um, I don't know what you'd call that, but kind of the top bit where it's been torn out of the pad. And then I will just move these to one side. <clears throat> so again, you kind of look along the um, thingamajiggy, jigglies, you know, the uh, measurements, and you find six by six. So on here, I have found six by six and I'm just having a look and would you believe I can't now find the square kind of version so um, that's why you should never do kind of demos really before you're really well practiced in using your tool so right what we'll do is we will obviously kind of make another um, rectangular one. Now, I'm having a look here, and again, I can't really see the fraction, but I think that says six and one third. So, I mean, a third, quite a bit, I suppose. So, I mean, what we could do is if we kind of just do it roughly in the middle, so at three inches, <coughs> like that and then oh, go under three inches there like that oops forgot to punch my my notch again and then three inches here and again I mean it doesn't have to be exact but just kind of try and measure up your or line up your little this part and then again three inches there just making sure it's lined up like that and then what you've got is obviously a square envelope oh, go, fold over fold over now i think this is because i've really done the scores in the wrong way but obviously i was trying to do it so that the pretty side of the paper was kind of showing so there's your square envelope um, so, you know, as you can see, even though we couldn't even find a six by six square envelope, we still were able to do 
a square envelope. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So we can round the corners again of the flaps. And then what we'll do is obviously just going to stick a little bit of glue here. Just so as we kind of hold the flaps down here. And then we will stick like that. And just pop that down. So again, super cute little square envelope there. So what we can do now, now for the fun part, is we can obviously decorate one of the envelopes. So let me just see if I have some paper to lean on. And I did notice that I said this in a previous video, which, you know, people must have wondered what I was talking about when I was saying lean on things, because clearly I'm leaning on the table. I mean um, to distress ink my envelopes because I don't want to get it all over my board here. So I'm just going to put the envelope to one side and then I will just bring this envelope back. Get my distress ink. This is just obviously vintage photo. And I'll just distress around the edges like that. Obviously, on this side, and I mean, obviously, you could have done this with oops, um, coffee dyed paper and thing as well, you know, so it would really look very vintagey on the inside of the envelope as well. But my one was um, obviously white on the inside, so I'm just distressing in it around like that. so really cute really love these envelopes and then what we can do is obviously kind of decorate it up I've got a little chipboard tile that we could put on I have got this little wooden one I mean I'm not saying that these are necessarily quite right for this but just to kind of give you an idea of the types of things that you can do. I've got this cute crochet trim, which actually that looks really pretty, kind of going across there. And then you could have kind of that there. So I'll just literally pop, pop the crocheted lace piece up here. And then we could obviously have this cute tile kind of down there on the flap. Or we could have something um, as a little closure. I've got a little ticket piece here, <clears throat> which we could kind of have there to tuck the flap into. So if we just, again, distressing that. It's very dark, wasn't it? like that and then it would tuck into there so I'll just kind of glue it like that and hopefully my flap's not going to be stuck actually into there so I might actually take my flap out Luckily there's no glue on there, so hopefully that means it's a good sign and it wouldn't have been glued in there. And then, I mean, you could always kind of pop a flower or something onto there, you know, kind of however you like really, um, or a little butterfly or something, kind of just to decorate it a bit further. And obviously you have the other side, which you could obviously decorate to your heart's content, um, you know, pop a little image there or something, 
I don't think I have got anything with me to be able to kind of do that because I was really here showing the board, not necessarily kind of decorating the envelope. So I don't think I've brought anything along. I'm just kind of having a bit of a flick through any bits of paper that I've got to the side of me just to see whether I've got anything at all that we could kind of pop down. I mean, I have got this little copied page of these flowers <clears throat> so we could try cutting these out but you know I'm not saying these are going to be quite right because um you know it wasn't my intention to kind of come and be doing this so I'm just literally wing and a prayer kind of um you know just trying something out just seeing whether this might work or probably won't <laughs> So we just literally cut that out like that. Just get rid of that out of the way. I didn't really want to get kind of too bogged down in this, but um, I sometimes just can't resist, you know, kind of uh, once you get crafting. It's very hard to stop. I always find. So I'm just literally cutting around. Like that. Okay, I mean, I don't necessarily think this is going to be quite right, but, you know, just thought we'd kind of give it a try. We could even have it on that side. Just going to ink it up and see whether kind of, um, actually what I might do is kind of tear it down here to make it a little bit smaller. Like that. And just ink up. So it's much more kind of vintage. Um, much more, you know, in keeping with the envelope itself. We could have kind of a flower here, or we could have it obviously, you know, over the page or something. No, I don't think I like it like that. I think I kind of preferred it without. So I haven't really got anything, I'm afraid, to actually stick onto there. So, um, you know, that's kind of it really with regards to kind of decorating that for the moment. I may do it in slow time um, but I quite like it kind of just simple as it is so that's that one and then we'll just very quickly ink up this beautiful square flowery one just to give you a kind of idea of how cute that's going to look Oops. and we'll just do this side of it so already that's looking super vintage now really cute again I've got kind of a couple of chipboard pieces which are super sweet that one's a little shell but actually looks really really nice on there um, <clears throat> and again I've got that crochet trim so I mean that just looks quite sweet like that have a bit of kind of lace trim going across but actually I quite like the um, the crochet so I'm just going to pop the crochet on and again I will do this just with some hot glue just to make this nice and speedy for um, for the video so like that And then, oops, cut the, the trim off. Oops. And then we'll just pop this little chipboard tile on, which I just think looks really cute. So, again, I will just hot glue that on. This is just a little tile that I've made and um, glossy accented it. 
I just quite like popping those on flaps of um, envelopes. I think they look really cute. And then what I'm going to do with this one is just literally trim off the, um, the crochet just at the corners because it was looking very kind of fierce, fiercely um, square, which I kind of didn't like that. So it's kind of softened now and kind of looks a little bit better, I feel. So, you know, that's kind of just a quick demonstration. Obviously, kind of it wasn't really about decorating the envelopes. It was really just about kind of, um, you know, saying that the punch envelope punch board, really nifty, really, um, you know, clever gadget and, you know, makes making the envelopes really very quick. Previously to um, getting this kind of a couple of weeks ago, I literally had kind of templates for envelopes that I had kind of drawn around on <coughs> cardstock and um, then would obviously kind of draw around them onto the paper and cut them out. So this is definitely a lot quicker than that and actually probably the finish is actually much nicer. Um, obviously you're slightly restricted in shape, where kind of obviously making your own from scratch you can kind of have various shapes. Um, you know, so I think those kind of templates are still worthy and still have their place. But, you know, I think these are pretty cool and pretty nifty too. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come along and share that with you, really. So I hope that you um, got something from that very quick little kind of demonstration. And it wasn't too tedious. And thanks for watching. Thanks a lot then. Bye.